Okay, so you've thrown your practice shots, and now you're going to make a decision about how you're going to play the lanes tonight, the angle that you're going to play. And it's interesting. A lot of times when you have a conversation with a good bowler, you'll say, well, what do you, you know, how are you playing the lanes? And they'll say, well, I'm standing about 22, and I'm looking uh, about 13. Well, that's only part of the equation. For sure, there's a few more pieces to that puzzle that are important for you to play the angles correctly. Absolutely, Coach. To play at the highest level, you need to see the entire approach and the entire lane. And what that means is, yes, know where you stand, but you also need to know where you finish at the foul line, where you slide, what your laydown point is, of course, the target at the arrows, and then the break point. That way you see the entire process going on. Yeah, and on top of that, and probably a point that a lot of people miss, you need to gain control over the torso, the angle of your torso, not only in your stance position, but especially at the point of release, because that helps you play the angles correctly. So not only your foot placement and the position on the lane you are and what you're looking at, but also what direction is my body pointing or angled? And a lot of times a good way to think about it is you want your body angle to match the angle you want the bowling ball to go. So we're going to have a couple of demonstrations here. And we have taped the lane here so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So as you look out on the lane, there are three different tape lines here. And I'm going to step out of here. I'm going to ask Ron to play the track area, which is the red line here. And pay attention to where he's standing. You can see where he's looking. And watch the angle of his torso as he delivers his shot. Okay, from this angle, he's playing pretty direct with a little bit of projection from left to right, right around the track area. Very common place to play. Well, if the lanes were really, really slick that night, you might have to play the extreme outside angle and point your shoulders to where they're actually a little bit left, pointing left at the foul line. You've got to maintain that position from start to finish. Note here how much his shoulders are turned in towards the head pin. His body angle matches the way the bowling ball needs to leave his hand. Well, what if you go in and they're extremely, extremely dry? You're going to have to stand over to the left, try to find some oil in the middle part of the lane, and maybe throw it out towards the gutter down the lane. Deep inside angle, shoulders stay way open, and they remain open. Your body angle matches that blue line, so that means your body is facing quite a ways to the right to deliver a great shot and play that angle. To be able to play the entire lane, you have to know how to match your body angle up to the part of the lane you're trying to play, as well as, as we said, mentioned, as we mentioned earlier, know your stance, your finish, your laydown point, your target, and your break point. All right, so this brings the next part of the puzzle in. We've read the lane. Now we've made a choice. How are we going to play the lane tonight? What angle? So there's your answer for the angle on how you're going to play tonight. 